Hey family, how's it going? Hey so, family, I'm here too. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, get on here real fast as we're driving uh, before my cell signal goes because we're going into the um, what they call the Durbanville Hills on our way to her parents and talk to you about um, Abraham. You know, Abraham was called to a country that he did not know, a culture he did not know, and a place that wasn't familiar to him. And right now in the body of Christ, I believe that there is a settling of the anointing um, falling upon people. What do I mean? There's, there's an intimacy, there's a power that is coming on the believer um, that they have not known before. And it is because God has divinely positioned us for those that know, you know what I'm talking about, um, to, to sit in a place of demanding upon God, of leaning upon God, of resting upon God. Because the situations that you're in is, is only going to, only the only miracle that's going to happen is by God. It, it's something that you cannot do. It is something that you cannot produce. You cannot work more hours. It's just God has to do the miracle. And so today I want to encourage you because Abraham had some things going for him. He was a man of intimacy. He knew the voice of God in a land where nobody else did. And he knew that God had called him he knew how to, to wait upon God. He knew that when Jesus walked up to him to give his best and everything and be in a place of humility and then to wait upon Jesus until Jesus called him. It wasn't until Jesus sitting there eating the best of the best called Abraham and told Abraham what he was going to do. And even at that time, Abraham wasn't Abraham. He was Abram. And so I want to encourage you right now in where you're at. If you're Abraham or Abram or you're in a place of launching or preparation, just rest in God. Just wait upon God and watch what God is going to do. You know, it's not always easy. It's not always going to be pretty. But remember what Jesus told Abraham. Remember what God told Abraham. He told Abraham, he said, I'm going to make your name great. I'm going to make you a father of nations. I'm going to multiply you. I'm going to do something that hasn't been seen in the earth, but you're going to have to leave your country, leave your culture, leave what you know, and do something that hasn't been seen before. And so as this anointing, as this power, as this move of the Holy Spirit is settling upon your life at this time, rest that God brought you to this place and that God is going to breathe upon you and cause you to do something that has not been seen before in the earth because you are a walking miracle. And so I just want to tell you to, to stay strong, arise, and have good courage because you are going to take the land and dig the wells of the Holy Spirit, the wells of revival, and show Jesus in, in, in all of this chaos because God has ordained and purposed you at this time. It says in Philippians that I, will, I, I am faithful to complete the work that I started in you. And so just stay strong. The blessing of the Lord is with you. You're going to overcome this thing. All right, I love you guys. I'm about to hit the hills and my um, internet's going to go. Remember, to sow, if you would like to sow seed into what we're doing in South Africa, www.mmitchell.net. We appreciate you. We love you. And God bless.